वेर इज इंडिया फर्स्ट एवर अंडर वॉटर रिवर टनल कमिंग अप हाउ इट इज नॉट जस्ट एन इंजीनियरिंग फीट बट ऑल्सो अ स्ट्रेटेजिक मास्टर स्टोर एंड वाई इट इज बींग कंसिडर्ड अ बिग लीप इन टर्म्स ऑफ नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न कनेक्टिविटी India is preparing to build its first ever underwater road tunnel beneath the mighty Brahmaputra which is not only going to redefine connectivity but also security in northeast for India. Hello everyone welcome to Vajram and Ravi's Flash News my name is Shubhangi Singh and today we are going to understand that what makes this Brahmaputra tunnel one of its kind how it is going to impact our connectivity security and also what are the challenges around it now let us start with understanding this whole project that we have so basically it is the first underwater road tunnel that we are going to get and this is beneath the brahmaputra river now this underwater road tunnel is being made in assam and in coming time it will get the cabinet approval also so when the approval comes in it is set to be completed in 5 years that means by 2030 we might be seeing the complete finished project of this now if we talk about the project details this project is being taken up by nhidcl and it is being made under the ministry of road transport and highways and the most important part that there has been an approval of 6000 crores to connect the two points basically the north bank and the south bank of the brahmaputra river the two points that will get the connectivity are numaligarh and gopur which are going to be connected through this tunnel the whole length of this tunnel including the approach road approach road means where the tunnel is going to start and people will get to enter that is the total length of 33.7 kilometers however if we talk about the depth in terms of let's just say this is the river how much beneath the tunnel is being made so the tunnel crown is going to be almost 32 meters below the river bed that is being seen now apart from the technicality of it that how it is an engineering marvel this is going to strengthen connectivity it is going to enable better mobility and also facilitate security now let us focus into the dimensions which highlight the significance in terms of security as well as economic parameters when we are talking about connectivity the first factor that comes in is the internal link that it is going to provide in assam itself so because of the north south connectivity in assam itself it is going to facilitate the east west connectivity and we are going to see that the excessive dependence that is on the bridges will also reduce furthermore these br bridges are more vulnerable because of flooding that specially takes because of the excessive load that we see in brahmaputra that also makes these bridges vulnerable and this permanent connectivity would be provided by this tunnel another thing that will happen because of the connectivity and the linking that there will be better regional integration as well when we are talking about regional integration it will automatically help people goods and their movement to north areas not just assam but beyond it and that will also be facilitating better movement of people and goods throughout the region so internal link in assam will also be there and assam's connectivity with other areas will also be directly facilitated now when if there is a route being created it will also definitely help in the movement of troops military equipments which will ensure our very much required presence in the area of northeast because this is the main pointer where other parties around it target especially knowing china's presence there so when we are talking about assam and regions around because that corridor is so small especially when we are talking about chicken neck corridor and going through assam all of that region needs to be very well maintained by india in terms of defense and security so that will also be facilitated by this tunnel because it will give a all weather connectivity no matter what time of the year the connectivity would be there then comes the symbolism because of the technological 
marvel that we are trying to create so it will bring us in the bracket of nations which have this sub aqueous road tunnels and it will also signify that india has risen to certain engineering emissions and that they can be achieved by india itself and with the finality of all these we will get a certain economic boost because if a major road tunnel is being created infrastructure around will be created there will be boost to the market there will be boost to accessibility which will definitely lead to an economic boost apart from this we will find certain other advantages as well that we will be able to facilitate bhutan in a better way where we are coming up with two other railway links we will be able to counter china's presence especially in context of arunachal pradesh so all this will come as an advantages but when we are talking about this road tunnel it doesn't come without challenges there are certain challenges that need to be understood as well addressed so as to ensure the advantages the significance where we are talking about so when we are talking about challenges the challenges are also multi dimensional first if we are talking about geotechnical and hydrological challenges because brahmaputra as a river itself it is a notorious one with very heavy sediment load addressing that would be a problem understanding that and making sure that we are not impacting the environment negatively apart from that in this very zone this is seismically very active if you are talking about assam specifically we find extreme seismic sensitivity can you tell me in the comment section in which seismic zone assam falls now because of the seismic activity there needs to be an excessive amount of take care that should be taken care of otherwise it might lead to vulnerabilities and that can affect the infrastructure that we are building that means the infrastructure should be resistant to earthquake shaking as well and it also should not affect the seismic uh, sensitivity in this area apart from that there are issues related to ecological impact national board of wildlife has given the clearance but it is conditional given on the environmental impact based on the damage that it is going to cost and also it will keep in mind the aquatic ecology as well as the water stability apart from that the disruption that will take place from the construction itself is another major pointer that needs to be taken care of and apart from the geotechnical seismic and environmental risk that lie in front of us we also have administrative challenges because multiple agencies such as ministry of road and transportation and highways then we also have nhidcl so the coordination will also be a problem and another thing that we have been missing in terms of planning infrastructure is definitely the maintenance part of it because such level of infrastructure requires proper maintenance it also has to ensure ventilation safety and other features which can which needs to be importantly brought in at the very start of this project now that we have understood the significance and challenges now let us move to talk about the river on which it is being built river in india is known by the name brahmaputra but it originates in the chemrong dung glacier which is in tibet and in this region it is known as yarlung sangpo it enters india at arunachal pradesh in the siang valley where it joins dibang and lohit to form the brahmaputra which finally drains into bay of bengal where it also joins ganga and forms the biggest delta that we have seen across the world can you name the given delta which ganga and brahmaputra form in the comment section now when we are talking about brahmaputra it has certain major tributaries which we have also seen as form of questions previously the major tributaries are subhansiri manas dhansiri tista lohit and dibang and when we are talking about its movement we get to see that it moves westward in assam and then it goes south when we talk about it entering bangladesh now this river is known for certain unique features such as that it has the world's largest riverine island because of the sediment load that it carries it is goes by the name majuli island and it is present in assam itself it has also the feature that it is one of the few rivers which are named as male otherwise you will find mostly rivers made named as females 
Ganga, Yamuna. This goes by the name Brahmaputra. It has the world's largest braided river system and it is also the reason for annual floods that we get to see, especially in Assam. Now, I'll leave you with a practice question here. You can put down your answers in the comment section. That was all from my side. Thank you so much. <laughs>